Breast implants, France recommends removal. The French authorities have recommended that 30,000 women have their faulty breast implants removed as a precautionary measure. The government, which says there is no evidence of cancer link, will cover the cost. The implants by French firm Poly Implant Prothes, PIP, or PIP, were banned last year after they were found to contain a non-medical grade silicone filler. It's thought that some 40,000 British women have their implants. The UK Medicine Watcher has said there is no need for women with PIP implants to have them removed. However, anyone with concern should contact the surgeon or clinic. The French Health Ministry said that women with PIP implants did not have a higher risk of cancer than women with implants made by other companies, but said there were well-established risk of ruptures. Health Minister Xavier Bertrand urged French women to have the implants removed as a preventive measure, but said it was not urgent. The corrective surgery will be paid for out of public health funds, but the French state will only pay for a new implant if the treatment was done as part of a reconstructive surgery following a breast cancer. Eight cases of cancer have been reported in women with the implants, but the French authorities say these are not necessarily linked to the faulty implants. PIP used non-medical grade silicone believed to be made for mattresses according to British Association of Aesthetic Plastic Surgeons, BOPS. This meant the low-cost devices were more likely to be split. Of the 30,000 fitted in France, more than 1,000 have ruptured. PIP went into the administration last year and the use of its implants was banned. At least 250 British women are taking legal action against the clinics that treated them. We would have preferred to sue PIP obviously, but they are bankrupt, so they have no money and no assets, lawyer Mark Harvey told Reuters. More than 300,000 implants are believed to have been sold globally by PIP over the last 12 years in some 65 countries. More than half of its exports went to South America, including Venezuela, Colombia, Argentina, and Chile. In Brazil, some 25,000 women are believed to have had implants, the AFP news agency reports. Western Europe was another major market, as well as the UK, Spain, Italy, Germany, and Ukraine are known to have imported PIP silicone sacs. I was lucky to undergo surgery again and get them taken out. You're never completely safe from illnesses. Something could still happen to me. But with regards to the implants, I was really very lucky. And it's implants such as these that are the problem. Made by the now defunct French company PIP, they were found to be carrying a silicon gel not approved for medical use. It's not just France that's concerned. PIP was ranked third in the world and 87% of the product was exported. So we're looking at 300,000 to 400,000 potential victims in the world. Singapore's civil servant accused of 455 charges of fraud. A civil servant in Singapore is accused of 455 fraud charges and cheating the government of more than Singapore dollars 600,000, which equals to US dollars 460,000. Lee Chi Meng, 35, is accused of forging official documents to purchase vouchers for himself between 2007 and early this year. He was a clerical officer for the country's Ministry of Home Affairs. You should remember that Singapore is perhaps the only country where corruption has not peeped in so far. He appeared in court on Thursday to face the charges, said Singapore's Trades Time newspaper. The ministry released a statement saying that the investigation has led to the recovery of almost Singapore dollars 475,000 worth of goods from the accused. Such cases are not common in the country an Asian financial hub with a reputation for honest practices. Singapore was ranked the fifth least corrupt nation in the world this year in the annual survey by the Berlin-based Transparency International. 
Civil servants in Singapore are also among the best paid in the world, which the government has said helps to deter corruption. Mr. Liu's actions came to light in January after an interna internal audit following an earlier corruption case in the public sector, the biggest since 1995. The case caught media and public attention as it involved two senior public servants with a taste for expensive sports cars. Ko C. Wee, a former Deputy Director of Information Technology at the Singapore Land Authority, was found guilty of defrauding the government of more than Singapore dollars, 12 million. He was sentenced to 22 years in jail last month. His subordinate Lim Chai Meng was sentenced to 15 years. We'll move on the business world. Singapore's factory output declines 9.6% in November. Singapore's factory output fell in November after a drop in electronics manufacturing caused by slowing demand and supply chain issues. Industrial production fell by 9.6% from a year earlier with electronics production down to 30.1%. While floods in Thailand disrupted supplies of components, the debt crisis in the Eurozone and a slowdown in the U.S. hurt demand for electronic goods. Analysts warn manufacturing activity may remain weak for some time. Going forward, manufacturing output still looks dodgy, said Song Seng Woon of the CIMB Research. Many industrial areas in Thailand were flooded earlier this year, forcing thousands of factories to shut down. That led to the disruption of supplies of key components such as hard disk drives for electronic manufacturers in Singapore, hurting their output. No, we have to rely on GDP rather than anything else. Uh, we, we, don't, we can't follow like, in the private sector, you know, whether the, that indus, particular industry is doing well or which company is doing well. That will be easy and more straightforward. Welcome to the world of science. Elephant sex toe discovered. A mysterious bony growth found in the elephant's feet is actually sex toe, scientists report. For more than 300 years, the structure has been puzzled researchers, but this study suggests that it helps to support elephants' colossal weight. Fossils reveal that this pre-digit evolved about 40 million years ago, at a point when early elephants became larger and more land-based. Lead author Professor John Hutchinson from UK Structure and Motion Laboratory at Royal Veterinary College said, It's a cool mystery that goes back to 1706 when the first element was dissected by the Scottish surgeon. Many people, he said, thought that the structure was a huge lump of cartilage and over the years its purpose or lack of purpose has been debated. Anyone who has studied elephant's feet has wondered about it. They have thought, ha, oh, that is weighed, and then moved on, he added. Professor Hutchinson and colleagues used a combination of CT scans, histology, dissection, and electron microscopy to solve the puzzle. And in sports! In U.S. financial aid changes games as Ivy sports teams flourish. The eight Ivy League colleges renowned for the academics were also once among the country's highest achieving athletic institutions, with national champions and multiple prominent and ranked sports teams. But that was 70 or 80 years ago, right? This month, the Harvard men's basketball team, which has played the sport for more than a century, was ranked in the nation's top 25 for the first time. For two months last season, the Yale men's IC hockey team was number one in the country. Colonel's wrestling team was number one. Throughout the same window, one year after the Colonel's men's basketball team advanced to the final 16 of the NCAA tournament. 
In the last two years, the Ivy League has produced 108 first-team All-Americans and won numerous individual nation championships. 19 of its athletes competed at the 2010 Vancouver Olympics and 10 won medals. This renaissance in league known as the ancient aid can be traced to something that has nothing to do with sports. New policies that have substantially enhanced financial aid for all admitted students making it easier to recruit elite athletes, coaches and athlete administration said. And before we close this Christmas news analysis, let's have a recap of the main points. India discovers gold-plated food. Syria officials twin bombings in Damascus kills 30. DR Congo police block entry to Shisekedi inauguration. Philippines floods more than 1,000 remain missing. Breast implants, France recommends removal. Singapore civil servants accused of 455 charges of fraud. And there we end this Christmas news analysis. Once again, a Merry Christmas to you all. Thank you.